Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be seeing if a team of strictly defensemen can win a Stanley Cup or at least do decent in the NHL. So that means all the forwards and defense are going to be defensemen. Goalies, not much I can do there. So yeah, I guess we'll just give them two decent goalies or something. I'm not really sure how we should do that. Maybe I'll randomize a team that we're going to take out somehow and then I'll just give them their two goalies. I don't know. I'll figure it out. That that comes later, all right? But for now, uh, yeah, I just made the team the Delta Defenders. And I'm obviously not really working on their jerseys or anything because we're not going to use them. We're just going to simulate, so it doesn't really matter. And let's, uh, let's go start putting the roster together here. Start getting... Oh, boy. These guys are still here. All right, I'm going to have to do something about that. Yeah, I will... Um, I'll go remove them after we make this team. I think I'm going to start at 85 overall because that should be enough, I believe. But I guess we'll find out soon enough if I get enough defensemen that are 85 or above. And then I guess we could make some cuts if need be. But I think that we should probably get enough at this rating. It's actually starting to look like I'm going to have to cut the 85s and just... I don't think I put Fox on the team. Oh, I did. Never mind. And, uh, yeah, go straight to the 86 being the lowest rating because we do have quite a lot of defensemen that are 85 or higher. And, oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter just when I get to him. Then it will say, he's already on the team. But, yeah, I think that there is going to be way too many defensemen. And 86 will probably end up being the minimum. Assuming I run out of roster space, which actually we might not. Never mind. Ran out of roster space. Time to go cut some 85s. All right. I eliminated all of the 85s. There we go. Petrie trying to sneak by. Um, except for Eric Carlson because I feel like he's just good offensively and the team's probably going to need him. So he's the only one I'm leaving on for now. Uh, Giordano, 86. Do we have anyone here? Tori Crew get 86 as well. Tampa Bay Lightning. We got Hedman, of course. McDonough's actually at 86. Sergachev, oh, 85. Yeah, we're not in need of your services. Morgan Riley and Muzzin's 85, so no. On defense, we got OEL and Hughes. Nice, all right. Vegas, we have Petrangelo. Oh, yeah, I've already added him. Okay, that was when I was in the, like, all-star lineup, I'm pretty sure. But right, so there you go. We've got Theodore. Washington, we get John Carlson. And from the Winnipeg Jets, we get Morrissey. All right, so there you go. There is only one 85 overall defenseman on this team, and it's EK65. 34 players total, though. So the coach has a lot to pick from for the lines. And now we just need two goalies. Who should I give this team? Hmm. I just gave them goalies from the AHL, or at least those that are on the AHL roster. So they're going to have Hudobin 83 as a starter and then two 81s. Yeah, that's not bad. That's actually fairly decent. So that way, um, we still don't know which team's going to be taken out, and it doesn't really matter. So my game just crashed. I guess maybe it doesn't like the concept of having a full team of defense. I have no idea. And on that note, it is time to delete all of these Joe NHLs. You've done good. You did good for my experiments, but okay. Yep, great. Now I need to go delete the team first. My game just crashed again right after I deleted the team. So clearly something I did in the create player slash team screen has pissed off NHL 22. Uh, I don't know what to do. My game genuinely just keeps crashing. Maybe I'll just keep the Joe NHL players there for now because I don't know what else to do really. Are you kidding me? It said your save data was removed due to corruption. And if I go to rosters, active roster, the one that I had and was using was from February 4th, just gone. I, I don't know what to tell you, but that had like the CSHL rosters. It had a bunch of other stuff. Maybe this one will still have the CSHL. Let's see. Hopefully it does because otherwise I'm going to be absolutely pissed off. All right. Rosters. No, wait, sorry. Creation zone. Create team. Okay. Okay. At least we have the... Is it going to crash again? What is happening? What the heck is going on? Okay, well, I'm going to try this again. And then I guess I'll have to finish off, like, the CSHL simulation or something. 
whatever I have to do there, and then I'm just gonna basically reset all my rosters and everything. But this is incredibly annoying. I The one, by the way, I don't know if you guys, well, you probably didn't see because I haven't been talking, but it just did it again. The January 31st roster, the teams that were there are just deleted, gone. So I don't know what the heck is happening, but something, oh wait, <laughs> my brain's not working anymore because I'm too busy fixating on how annoyed I am by this game crashing. So now we have Poise and Poiseless, which hopefully I can delete them without having issues, but I, I don't know if I trust it. And if I don't delete them, then I... <laughs> oh man, okay, well I'm gonna try to make this team one more time, and let's just really hope that it works. The good news, at least, is that these two players should not be assigned to teams at all, and they shouldn't be on any created team. So here we go, delete. Oh? Oh, I thought it crashed again. I thought it crashed again. All right, we're getting somewhere. Perfect. Now get me out of this screen. Get me out of here. All right. We're good. We are good. Okay. I also had too many save files apparently, so I had to go and delete a bunch of those. But anyway, um, let's randomize the team we're going to take out and I will stop right now. Boom. Detroit. All right. Sorry, Tic Tacs HD, but I am subbing your team out for the Delta Defenders. Yep. There we go. All right. They have... Quite the team of all defensemen, that is. <laughs> so, let's hop in there. They are 94 overall, but the chemistry is probably going to be poo. I, well, who knows? Maybe. Maybe it won't, actually. Maybe they'll be all right. Moment of truth. Let's edit the lines and see what... Oh, my word. Wow. Are you kidding me? We get a plus five, a plus two, a plus one. <laughs> wow, that is insane. Whoa! I've never seen numbers like this in my entire life. This is the most mental thing I've ever laid my eyes upon. Holy crap. Is there decent chemistry? No. No, there isn't. Oh my goodness. There can be though. Bruh. This is incredible. To say the absolute least. Wow. I am amazed. Plus three, plus five, plus one. Plus five, plus two, plus five, and then minus two. How's that? How's that a plus five? Can someone explain this to me? This literally makes no sense how they are a plus five. That makes zero sense to me. I thought it was based on this thing with the line fit, but it is clearly not. Um, I guess, oh, it's the abilities. They all have abilities and X factors. That's what it is. I forgot. Yeah. All right. That checks out. And then, yeah, there's a lot of chemistry going on back here too. All right. This team is gonna destroy everybody, I think. I don't know, I, I really don't know what to think. I personally, coming into this video, thought they weren't gonna do so good, but holy crap has my opinion changed. TSN turning point with seeing that chemistry, I think they're gonna go all the way. Let's shoot, uh, yeah, let's just do it. Not off to a hot start, but tons of time for a little TSN turning point <laughs> like I had. But yeah, I'm gonna say that Makar gets the most points with 79. Yeah, I think he could do it. All right. So apparently, screw chemistry. Uh, we still suck. All right, starting to string together some W's now and sort of pull away to get as many overtime losses as possible. Try to get those one points. Just avoid the regulation loss. And wow. All right, back to being 500 in the first two columns there. Nice, big win over LA, an L to the San Jose Sharks. You know what, the team's not doing, like, they're not doing bad, but they're not doing very good. So I'm gonna just once again go, whatever the head coach knows that I don't, apparently this is better. Um, I just feel like I have to at least do that. I have to at least do that. But there you go. Yeah, there's our, our team chemistry that apparently means so much. Well, <laughs> anyway, head coach doesn't seem to think so. Let's just simulate. We're going to keep our trading block, but I am going to enter the deadline just to see who is available. It's, probably, it's like the same players all the time. Tuka Rask, who I'm pretty sure just announced his retirement. Apparently, we want to get rid of Latang. Um, also, just so you guys know, this video will be going up like probably two weeks after I record it. So, obviously that information is severely outdated, but yeah, anyway. Uh, we also want to get rid of McDonough. But there is a lot of good players on the block here. Yeah. Well, 
Anyway, I wait. Why does it show my players though? Why would it show mine? I can't trade for my players. I guess it allows you to trade them. Anyway, I'm out of here. So playoffs are actually looking iffy. Yeah, it's um, it's gonna be a close cut. It's not a guarantee at all, especially with us losing a lot of games post trade deadline. Not that we were doing that amazing going into the trade deadline, but. Wow. Are they really not going to make the playoffs? They actually didn't even make the playoffs. <laughs> well. Uh-huh. I should have stuck with my original gut instinct, apparently, and said they were going to be bad. I mean, they weren't bad, but they weren't amazing either. All right. Who wins? Is it Chicago or the Rangers? I'm going to say the Rangers. And it is. There you go. All right. Well, let's go look at some of the stats and see how the lads did. 36, 32, and 14. 55 points. From Pi Trangelo. Huh. Yes, I know it's Petrangelo. Relax. All right, so we finished fourth in the Atlantic with 86 points. Yeah, I would have. That's not really a playoff record at all. Did not deserve to be in the playoffs in the entire league. Pittsburgh with 112. 53 wins. The Predators with 53 wins as well. They had a great simulation this year. Petrangelo only put up 55. Heskinen put up 52. 47 from Shabbat, Hamilton, 46. Wow. All right, let's just see who's at the bottom here. We get 18 from Darnell Nurse. Very intriguing. How'd the goalies do? Were they bad? No, not really. 913, 254, and then backup goalie. Like, those are backup goalie stats. Yeah. All right, well, that was an interesting experiment, actually, because my <laughs> thought on everything was a roller coaster. I thought they were going to do bad coming into it. And then I saw the chemistry and all the overalls. I'm like, okay, they might actually do really good. And then, no, they did not. So, I, like I said, should have went with my initial instinct and said they were going to be poo. But I got my hopes up. All right? Sue me. And I doubt they won any trophies. Uh, yeah, no. No trophies to be won. Let's check out the playoff tree. There you go. So, there you have it. A team of all defenders apparently cannot do so good in the NHL, even if they have really good chemistry. But let me know if you guys think that this is realistic. If you put all those guys on a team in real life, do you think they would do well? I don't know. But it's, um, it's an interesting one, to say the least. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.